بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are My name is Sajad Walji I'm the chairman of the Africa Federation Tablik Board under our community Koja Shait Nashri Jamaat Federation Jamaat of Africa What you've just witnessed is a peaceful procession commemorating or remembering the sacrifices of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam who was Imam Hussein he was the grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam after 50 years of the demise of the Holy Prophet there was a huge moral decline in the society and Imam al Hussein had to stand up to give his life to save the human values human dignity and to save and bring about human justice in the society. He was not alone. He was accompanied by 72 male members and the ladies and children of his family. They were surrounded by 30,000 forces of Yazid who considered himself the ruler of his time. He was somebody who was a narcissist. He was somebody who had no morals, a shameless, adulterous, corrupt individual who called himself the Prince of the Believers. Kama alivosema al-Imam al-Husayl katika uwanja wa Karbala akimambia yule Yazid ikiwa yewe uwezi kunipima mimi kwa upande wa dini ya kiislamu basi nipime mimi kwa upande wa binadamu je yafaa binadamu kumuua mwanadamu mwenzake kwa hivyo tukio zima kama hili limewafundisha binadamu kuweza kuishi pamoja kwa amani na kusaidiana tuomba kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Subhanahu wa Ta'ala azidishe mahaba kati yetu sisi sote tunaoishi katika nchi kama hili kwa pamoja bila ya kujali dini zetu bila ya kujali ukabila bila ya kujali lolote lile ili nchi yetu ipate kuendelea mbele na tuishi kwa raha na mapenzi na Mwenyezi Mungu atatubariki kwa yote wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh this is actually a revisit to revive the memories of Imam Hussein for it to be in eternity he stood for justice he stood for truth he stood for human values he stood for dignity he made sure those who are downtrodden oppressed are not oppressed or will never be oppressed because one timeless statement that he gave was a person like me cannot submit to a person like you meaning and telling us truth will never submit to falsehood wherever it is and that is why we all draw our inspiration from these timeless words and that is why in the end before he gave his life he said death for me is honor than a life of humiliation so my brothers and sisters my audience we draw all this strength from Imam Hussein and we pray for our country here that peace prevails the way we concluded our elections in such a peaceful manner we thank God and we pray for the longevity of this country for economy to come back all on the footsteps of Imam Hussein where he stood for equality he stood for social justice he stood for human values Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Majina yangu ni Ali Bahero Abud ambaye ni mwalimu wa masomo ya kidini katika shule ya upili ya Sofa Academy iliyoko katika Kilifi County maeneo ya vipingo shariani Siku ya leo tumefanya matembezi kwa ajili ya kukumbuka yale ambayo yaliyompitia mjukuu wa bwana mtume Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ambaye ajulikana kwa jina la al-Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam leo ni siku ya 40 kuanzia kuuawa kwa huyu mjukuu wa bwana mtume Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ambapo yeye aliuawa Karbala katika tarehe 10 mwezi wa Muharram ambapo leo ni tarehe 20 mwezi wa Safar kuanzia awali mpaka leo imefikia siku 40 tumefanya matembezi kwa ajili ya kujihirisha mapenzi yetu 
kumpenda mjukuu wa bwana mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kwa kufuata amri ya bwana mtume aliposema Hussein mimi wa ana min Hussein Hussein atokamana na mimi na mimi natokamana na Hussein ahabba Allah man ahabba Hussein Mwenyezi Mungu humpenda yule anayempenda Hussein kwa hivyo sisi tukafuata maagizo ya mtume wetu Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kama nilivyotuagiza tumpende Hussein ने ने 